Fell blade. 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 Hundreds of dolls with a blade. What am I going to do about it? Show you in a minute. So, here I am back in the workshop. I've spent hundreds of dollars on skill saw blades, mitre saw blades, and table saw blades over the last few years, and I've been throwing them away when they get dull. Luckily, I've kept the last dozen or so because I've now discovered how you can sharpen blades yourself for free. As with most things I do, it all started on YouTube. I was looking at other people's videos and I noticed that people were coming up with ways of sharpening their own blades. So I've looked at four or five of their ideas, I've picked the best bits of their ideas and I've come up with something very low cost that will sharpen and enable me to keep using these blades for quite some time without having to buy new ones. So let me show you how this simple device works. The first thing I had to do was go and buy a diamond wheel for my angle grinder. They're a little expensive but they last. They're normally for cutting tiles and fibrolite but they're also very good for putting a new edge on tungsten tips. So here's one of my old grinders set up on a block that can be adjusted. Next to it you'll see a little table and that table can slide back and forth on a pair of short draw runners. I have a stop here that stops the table getting too close and that stop for different blades will be adjusted into different positions for different diameter blades. The grinder can pivot, meaning that the angle of the blade changes, which is very important because blades for different materials have very different angles on their teeth. Just here you'll see a handy post and that post carries my adapters which allow me to fit all of my blades onto this one point just by using different adapters. So how does this thing work? It's incredibly simple. I'll turn it on and I'll show you how. The first thing to do is to mark a starting point so you know when you get right round where you've got to. The next thing is to adjust the stop so that the blade won't dip into the throat of the blade and damage the blade. And then the next thing to do is to set up the angle of the grinder to match the angle of the blade. I've already done that in this instance. And now I'm going to do a quick trip around the blade and show you how to rejuvenate a tired blade.
go. It's as quick and as simple as that. If I can get the camera to focus on this and I can get good light. Focus. You'll be able to see here that I've just tickled up each of these tips. And brought it all back to factory settings. And for working on one of my metal blades, all we have to do is make sure that the stop is still in the appropriate place, which it is, it's not bottoming out, but we do have to change the angle here. So we can do that very easily. Just changing the angle on here. Now when I change the angle on the grinder, it will necessitate a small adjustment on the stop. So first of all, I'll set up the angle. It's almost a negative rake on a steel blade here we go that's that set so we'll just tighten the screw back up there okay that's the grinder locked in place now we'll have to move the stop The more I use this on different blades, the more the more holes I'll get for adjustment here and there to set up. Here we go. So this has got about four times as many teeth, so it's going to take me a long time to go around. But we'll mark a starting point and hit it. work sharp new blade how to make this thing all it is is two draw sliders and a stop you need to select a washer or an old socket from a socket set that is the diameter of your smallest blade and then the spacers can fit over that to move it out the size of your largest blade. You need to make sure that the distance from here to here is enough to take your largest blade and you can have any kind of locking device you like here. I've just gone for plain and simple. You'll also need a locking device to lock the pivoting of the angle grinder 
and I've just gone for a screw. The further out here that you move, the further away from each other your holes will be. So because I've made a long piece of wood here, that's working well. This particular grinder has side handle threads on the top and both sides, so I've been able to bolt it from underneath and from here to secure it so that the grinder is very firm on its base. And really, that's all there is to it. Now, if you found this video useful in any way, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more of this kind of thing, hit the subscribe button. It's down below on the right-hand side. Thank you.